Well, when the Oscar nominations came out last week, it was no surprise that one of the nominees for Best Foreign Language Film would come from Chile, and that is the movie from uh, director and writer Sebastian Lilio and his new movie, A Fantastic Woman. This is a film that's played on the film festival circuit and actually won a screenwriting prize at the Berlin Film Festival for its director just about a year ago. It is finally opening now in theaters with that Oscar nomination in in tow and you can bet it's probably a front runner for the prize it is a very timely movie one that certainly is dealing with a subject in part that has been in the news quite a bit anyway this movie opens up as just a normal kind of film we see Orlando played by Francesco Reyes he is an older man a gentleman and he's watching a young woman singing and later takes her out to dinner and dancing on a romantic night out and we learn that she is uh, his girlfriend and that is Marina played by the divine Daniela Vega. Habla una amiga de Orlando. Yo soy Sí, sí sé quién es. ¿Qué pasa es que Orlando se empezó a sentir pésimo? Orlando. Ay, se murió. Se murió. What is revealed is that Marina is actually trans and now a woman, a fantastic woman, is what the film is trying to present here, yet others don't agree and it shows the prejudices, the lack of empathy in our society on all the problems uh, that somebody like Marina can go through. She is even suspected uh, being involved in his death. Uh, what are the bruises on his body? Those are questions that are asked uh, by the detective here, by doctors, uh, by the man's ex-wife, by his growing children. They all seem to hate Marina, not just because they don't like her, but because they don't like what she is, a trans woman in a society that isn't always comforting for them. And uh, that's what this movie is about. It's trying to be many different things, and in fact, in terms of style, it's all over the place. It's a suspense thriller. It's even a musical at one point with a big dance sequence. It is a story of a trans person in this society. It's also a story of grief and loss. And all of those things that the director weaves together very successfully. I think you can see why this movie is doing so well and winning awards uh, wherever it goes. Uh, it's fascinating, but at its center is the uh, magnificent Daniela Vega. Now, she was not even intending to be in this movie, not really much of an actress. She's had some acting background, but not really. As she acted as a consultant for Sebastian on this film, and then he realized that she had to be his fantastic woman, and so she did, and what a performance. Yo también tengo derecho a despedirlo. Mira, el problema ahora es mío. Tú ya viviste el mal rato. Ahora toda la parte trámite me toca a mí. Y de hecho yo te quiero compensar por todo lo que has hecho. De verdad, para que estés tranquila, no necesitas ya ir a ninguna parte ni hacer nada más. Y lo vamos a arreglar de una manera civilizada para que las dos quedemos conformes. ¿Te parece? Yo no necesito su plata, señora. She really makes this film, and in fact, there is a devastating scene later in the film in which she's meant to undergo a humiliating medical exam, just simply to humiliate her, it seems, as forces of society are against her and uh, trying to pin her down, but she will not have it. This movie is definitely worth seeing for fans of smart foreign language films, this one coming from Chile, and adult audiences looking for something that's thought-provoking and wonderfully exotic to watch. I really like this film. I highly recommend A Fantastic Woman, and I say, go.